Hey guys, what is up? My name is Avi and welcome back to the Codex. In this video, we're going to continue our Python and Flask series. We're going to learn about routing in Flask. What that basically means is how to set up different URLs and access different web pages through app.route. Let's get started. Now, first thing first, guys, I'm going to go ahead and run our previous code. Right now, in seven lines of code, we were able to set up a very simple Flask web server. So go ahead and hit Control Shift R. It says address already in use. If you get this error message, guys, just restart the current server that's already running. There we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. And there we go. Hello world has been printed out. Now let's say that I want to create a blog. All right. I'm going to go ahead and create a blog website and I want to create an about page for the blog and I want to create the blog page for the blog. To do this, guys, I need to do two things. I need to create two different routes and two different new functions. So based on our previous knowledge of just looking at this function right over here, we can go ahead and create something very similar app dot route. And then inside of this, we're going to pass in slash and then the location of the URL we want. So in this scenario, if I'm going to create an about page, I'm going to say slash about after that, I'm going to specify the function that should create this web page def about, and I'm going to say return the about page. All right. Very, very straightforward. If you just go ahead and save this, restart our server and then refresh this and go to slash about. There we go, the about page. Fantastic. Similarly, I can do the exact same thing for blog. I can say app.route pass in slash blog, whoops, slash blog. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and create my blog function over here and then return. Um, this is this is the blog. OK, so again, what are we really doing here, guys? We're specifying the path, the actual route that the server should go to and then what it should return at that specific route. If you try going to any sort of URL that does not exist or has not been specified by app.route, if it's not slash slash about or slash blog, your website will return an error because that web page does not exist. When the Flask server tries accessing that URL, there is no data that's being returned. Anyways, fantastic. So we got slash, we got our about page, we have our blog page. Now let's say I wanna pass in the unique ID of a blog. I wanna create a URL such that when I pass in the unique ID of the blog after my blog, for example, something like this, if I do quotation blog slash two, I want to see my second blog. Okay. The way I can do this is by using something called variable rules to do that. Let's go ahead and create another route over here, app dot route. And then inside of this, I'm going to pass in slash blog slash, and then watch me careful here. I'm going to use carrot sign and then blog underscore ID carrot sign. So what this does is we're specifying a rule inside of our route. We're saying that this route, if someone tries to access anything slash blog slash something, refer to that something as a variable called blog underscore ID to access that variable. We're going to go ahead and create a new function called unique blog or blog post. And inside of this, I'm going to pass in blog underscore ID. So again, I'm saying app dot route slash blog slash blog underscore ID. Again, this is a variable that we can access inside of a function blog post. So over here, I'm just going to go ahead and return, return. This is the second post or um, this is blog post number and then the number. So blog ID, so str blog underscore ID. So what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm accessing the blog ID variable that will be passed into the URL and then we're printing it out and returning it to the user. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and refresh this over here. There's our server. Let's go to slash blog. That is, this is the blog. Let's go to slash blog slash two. This is blog post number two. Let's go to blog 10. This is blog post number 10. Awesome. So again, this is exactly how routing works. You can specify your various routes. You can specify your different variable rules. Now, right now I have to run string blog of ID because I don't know what data type this is. You can actually specify the data type you want it to be inside of this carrot. I can go ahead and say over here, int colon blog ID. This means that my blog ID variable will have to be an integer. Similarly, I can convert it to a string, a float, a path, any UID. Basically, there's different types of variables or variable types you can convert this variable to. Now, instead, if I don't want to mention the string blog ID and I want to make it a string, I can say string colon blog ID remove the string part because I know that no matter what blog ID is, blog ID will have to be a string. Go ahead and save this. Let's restart our server, refresh. And now we get the exact same thing. This is blog number 10, but we don't need the string anymore. 
Fantastic job, guys. That was routing in a nutshell. We learned two things. We understood how to create different sort of web pages, different routes using Flask. And then we also understood variable rules, how to add variable parts to a URL. Thanks so much for listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.